welcome to episode 58 of the Monday Night War Save. I, of course, am Xavier Woods. Joining me, as always, is my faithful compadre, Brad Maddox. And today, we are going to book some WCW Nitro. Are you ready, buddy? You are the worst. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm going to replace you one time. You can't replace me. I'm going to. At this I'm irre- fucking rate. I'm irreplaceable. Irreplaceable! Shut the hell up. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are starting the show. Let me get No, let me angle Hulk Hogan, Eric Bischoff, Big Cash Nash. Close? Okay, who's in it? But, but no. It's Larry Zabisco. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was a thing. Larry Zabisco comes out, and he has the microphone, and he says, you know, Eric Bischoff might be back and he thinks he's got power, but I'm still the man in charge in WCW, and as long as I'm in charge, this place is going to be ran the right way. He says, last week, Horace Hogan won a number one contendership match to face Hulk Hogan at the Great American Bash. However, he was taken out at the hands of Sting, and so that is why tonight... Uh, and that's why he will not be able to make the pay-per-view. He's at home nursing his wounds. Um, but fear not, because we are going to name a number one contender uh, tonight. Um, when we are going to have Eric Bischoff pick a member of the roster, and he cannot be a w- an NWO member, and I will pick a member of the roster. Oh, no, no, sorry. He bossed. And the audience is like, you fucked up. You fucked up. Sorry, no. I'm going to pick um, a non-NWO member, and he's going to pick an NWO member, and then they're going to fight in a one-on-one match tonight, and the winner will become the new number one contender. That's what he was trying to say. So then Bischoff comes out. All right. And just shits on him for buff for messing up his lines. Oh, no. And it says, listen here, mush mouth, all right? <laughs> he's like, it doesn't matter who you fucking pick to be the guy who faces off against the NWO tonight. Because not only is the NWO going to win, but we're going to go on. And I'll tell you what. I'll even tell you who I pick as my guy. All right? I'll even, I'll, I'll even tell you that right now. And he, looks at, and he looks at him and he says, My pick, the man who is going to face off against Hulk Hogan as soon as he beats whatever scrub you uh, pick out, is none other than Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. And the crowd, the crowd is like mildly excited. <laughs> and then he says, "So I'll see. So we'll see you out there." And then he walks away. And is we go he, to commercial. They say, "Mr. Perfect." Mr. Perfect. But he's part of NWO. Yeah, Bischoff is picking an NWO member, oh. and the Bischoff is picking a non-NWO member. Oh, I thought, okay. I thought it was both. You can't pick fucking NWO. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah. That's when you bought. when you bought. Yeah. When you bought his lines. Oh, him, not me. All right. So we are starting the match off with a four-on-four tag team match. Jesus, fuck. Didn't you have one of these last week? No. Don't lie to me. I'm not. All right. Don't lie to me. Don't you fucking lie to me. Don't you lie to me. I'm not. He had one on the pre-show. I don't even count. It's the (laughs) pre-show. All right, so four on four tag team match. On one on one side we got Chris Benoit, we got Kidman, we got Sick Boy and Low D. Oh, the team of the future superstars. Taking on the team of, actually replace Sick Boy with Just Incredible. No. Yes. Okay. I will do it for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. All right. Taking on the team of Sabu. All right. Hardcore balls. Oh, this is going to be fucking... This, why is this not the main event match? <laughs> and the Dudley boys. All right. How long does this go? That's going to go 10 minutes. Okay, who wins? 
Chris Benoit wins. Okay. After he pins Hardcore Balls. Perfect. After that match, there's a video package. Yeah. The video package shows um, Lance Storm in a, in a hoodie when he's walking. You see him walking outside, and he says, um, at, a great, at a great American bash, there's going to be war games between the flock and the XWO. Now, Tommy, I have no affiliation with the flock. I'm not a member. I just don't like you. <laughs> he says, so I will not be at War Games, but I will be at the pay-per-view, and I will be watching you on every corner you turn, everywhere you look, everywhere you go, I'll be there. And me and you, we got a score to settle, and we're going to settle it sooner rather than later. And that's the Lance Storm promo. <laughs> All right, so we you you just I am so excited um, to, see, to see where that goes. <laughs> All right, we got a match. Ooh. We do, we did, we indeed do. It is Alex Wright taking on Chavo Guerrero. Ooh, Chavo. Ooh, Chavo. Actually, not Chavo. I lied. I'm fucking believable. I hate you so much. <laughs> I did that on purpose. You, uh, Alex Wright taking on Hoovertude. Oh, my. Ooh, Hoovertude. Ooh, Hoovertude. All right. All right, Alex Wright goes over. All right. And he rips off Hoovertude Guerrero's mask. Oh, no. All right, <laughs> let's see if Hoovertude's all right with that. You were reminded that WCW owned the mask of Hoobie Tube Bears, and the unmasking will be done for free and cannot be refused. All right. Perfect. Ha <laughs> Fuck you, Hoover Tube. Oh, my God. So then Alex Raya holds the mask in the air and starts beating the shit out of, Al- out of Hoover Tube. And he says, I am Alex Wright. I am a former NXT champion, and I am uh, going to be one of the brightest wrestlers in the future, I'm going to take WCW to new heights. And what makes me better than everybody else is I don't have to ha- uh, hide behind a shitty mask like this. And he throws it at Hoovertude. Just like I don't have to hide it behind a shitty mask like Rey Mysterio. Or that washed up piece of shit, Jushin Thunder Liger. Rey Mysterio beat me at Slampery due to a fluke. And even though I can't take it out on Rey anymore... That doesn't mean I can't take out all of his little lucha buddies. So a great American bash, I'm challenging Jushin Thunder Liger to a match, and I'll put my hair on the line. Oh, no. It's going to be hair versus mask. Oh, shit. So, intense shit right there. All right. Sorry. There we go. Oh, and make sure you put Jushin Liger in it. Just don't put him on TV. Oh, fair enough. Jushin Thunder Liger. Jushin Thunder Liger. Sorry, I'm in, a weird, I'm in a weird mood today. Yeah, fuck. Wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I saw, tr- 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 I saw a troubling video. We'll put it at that. <laughs> All right. So, um, after that, we are going to have... What did we have Scott Steiner do last week? You know what? I don't know. Probably nothing. Um, the fuck was right? Give six a dick tease. <laughs> he was gonna two sweet him and then just oh, yeah, punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, typical. Sh- uh, Steiner was on the pre-show with DDP. <laughs> Did they just have like a match or something? No, DDP defeated Buffalo Bagwell to retain the title, and then Steiner did something. Okay. Did have they had a contract? They had the contract signing, right? Yeah. Did that? They, they did that once? Yeah. Scott Steiner said he was going to fuck his wife? Yeah. All right, I don't want to run that again. All right. We are instead going to have a... A tag team match. Oh. 
tag teams. An- another one. It's going to be an odd bedfellows match. Uh, what? An odd bedfellows match. Is that, is that's that, not, that's that... not in the database. That's just something that they've done before. Oh. <laughs> You're just like, is that in the database? I'm fucking confused. Scott Steiner and DDP team up. Team up to take on the team of Raven and Tommy Dreamer. What the fuck? hell is this? All right. Who wins? What happens? Uh, it's going to go 12 minutes. And it's going to go to a draw because all of them are just going to start fighting each other. Let's just double and double count out. Yep. I mean, if, if Scott Steiner is the only one upset by it, we'll just keep Scott strong. All right. Sure. All right, then there's an angle where the four of them just brawl with their respective person. Um, DDP, and then we got Raven, Scott Steiner, and Tommy. Beautiful. All right, what's after that? All right, we got a video package. We're via satellite from uh, from Mexico. We have Ric Flair and Ric Flair. So Ric Flair is joining us uh, via Mexico. He just got done defending the global championship, um, and he and he, he's he's basically saying, "Woo, the nature boy Ric Flair, the greatest champion in pro wrestling history." Just defended the WCW Global Championship. Woo! Woo! And a Great American Bash. Eddie Guerrero. You and me for this championship. And he starts bleeding. I don't oh, know. Already it's bleeding. Just, it just starts bleeding. I mean business when I say it's going to be intense. You may make the nature boy bleed. But I'm going to make you bleed first. And that's why the Nature Boy Ric Flair challenges Eddie Guerrero to a first blood match. Oh, oh no. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he starts doing a strut. And then he walks off with two women in each arm. Nice. <laughs> and that's how that promo ends. So Ric Flair, the fighting champion, defending that championship all over the world. All right. So um, next off, we are having a singles match. All right. It's going to be uh, Dave Taylor taking on Chris Jericho. Oh, shit. Why Dave Taylor? Because. Why not William Regal? Because Dave Taylor, Chris Jericho. Okay. That's going to go six minutes, and Chris Jericho's going to get the win. Oh, what I've never guessed. <laughs> He's going to tap him out. Deuce. All right. All right, anything after? Yes, actually. Oh. So, William Regal gets in the ring. Steven and, Regal. Yeah, sorry. And he, get, and he grabs a microphone, and he's looking across the ring at Dave Taylor. Dave, Dave Taylor, you have been just the worst, (laughs) worst tag team partner I've ever had in my life. We haven't won. The only time we even come close is when the big show is there. (laughs) You have just, just done nothing for me. And I, while I was away, I had time to think. Well, Dave... Listen, and he puts his arm around Dave, and Dave goes, I know, Dave, I know. It's nothing personal. I just think we'd be better if we went different ways. So then he starts to walk away, and Dave, you know, grabs the microphone and says, Regal! He turns around, and Dave's like, I love being your tag team partner. You're my best friend. Please don't do this. Regal looks at him and says, 
Listen, you're just not fit to be my tag team partner. You're just not fit. And you know what they say. It's all about survival of the fittest. And then he gets jumped from behind by Fit Finley. No. Oh. Fit Finley. And the last thing Regal says is, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Blue Bloods 2.0. Oh. And him and Finley pose in the ring, standing over Dave Taylor. Beautiful. All righty. We have 31 minutes left? Yep. Perfect. Uh, what else? What other angles have on? Oh, Big Show Goldberg. Okay. Um, so we are going to have a, a match tonight. It's going to be a handicap match. All right. One on two, two on three, one on three. One on, one on four. One on, Jesus fucking. If that's an option. It is. It is. All right. The, the Big Show. All right. Taking on. Barry Darso. Oh no. <laughs> um. Who else is there? La Parca. <clears throat> Dwayne Gill. And Mike Awesome. Oh, Mike Awesome. <laughs> How long is this going? Uh, five minutes. Big show. Big show's going over. Actually, actually, I lied. Big Show isn't going over. Oh, no. <laughs> Dwayne Gill's going over. Fucking Christ. What? You think Big Show's going to be okay with that? Because Goldberg is going to spear the Big Show when the referee's back is turned. But Big Show's going to just straight dominate. I know, I got that written. Until that happens. There's, there's no way Big Show's cool with this happening. Furious. <laughs> Big Show is furious. Big Show's literally like, the fuck I am. <laughs> um, God, do you think you'd put in a two-week if I, if I made this happen? Uh, not if you give him a lot of money afterwards. All right, I'll give him a lot of money afterwards. All right. Thanks for doing the job, Big Show. After, after that match, Big Show and Goldberg uh, brawl. Boom, boom. All right. Beautiful. We got 20 minutes left. All right, so there's, an, there's a backstage angle. Uh, Tommy Dreamer is uh, backstage, and he's uh, getting interviewed. Tommy, we know you just uh, had that big, really weird tag team match uh, <laughs> really where you teamed with Raven. Um, what are your thoughts going into the pay-per-view? And Tommy says, today we were, me and Draven had to be allies. It didn't work out well, which goes and shows you exactly how I feel about Raven. He was like, but before you can even get another word in, Lance Storm just beats, beats the fuck out of him from behind. And he says, Dreamer, I told you I'd be watching. I'm always watching. <laughs> okay. Um, he starts hitting him with a pipe. All right. 15 minutes, main event time. So, uh, there's going to be, first there's going to be a, a minute-long angle where Bischoff comes out with Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig, and he's like, he's out there and he's ready and he's amped up, and then uh, Bischoff is like, ladies and gentlemen, my pick to who will represent the NWO in the main event, and he motions to Kurt Hennig and says, isn't Kurt Hennig? Oh, no. <laughs> and Kurt Hennig is like, oh. <laughs> he's like, but instead... It's this guy! Out walks Kevin Nash. Oh, what a fucking thought. <laughs> so, so we get... So then, Zabisco... Uh, before the... So, oh, yeah, so we can do this in one angle. So then Zabisco says, Well, if you're picking uh, Big Cash Nash, then I'm going to pick the man who put Horace Hogan on the shelf. Oh, no. Sting. Beautiful. All right, so Sting versus Big Cash Nash in the main event. Cash Nash. 
Let's go in 13 minutes. All right. All right. Okay, I think that's all we have time for, right? Now you got time. 15. All right, we'll do 15 minutes. Sting wins. Oh, my God. Sting Hogan again? Sting wins. And then, uh, due to a interference from Scott Hall. Sorry, how many times did you run Undertaker, Shawn Michaels? How many times did you run Brett and Hogan? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Perfect. Oh, they've only ran... When the fuck did Sting and Sabu happen? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, this would be your fourth time running Sting and Hogan. Right. My fourth time running Sting and Hogan? That's fine. I think. Maybe I maybe I missed what the, Oh, it's Horace Hogan right here. Okay, so no, it'd be your third time. See, we're good. Get a dipped. <laughs> Alright, so Sting goes over. Alright, sorry. Sting goes over. Yep. And then uh, after that match, um Bischoff um, and Zabisco are arguing outside of the ring. And then uh, it does. They do one of those things where they both kind of book the main event for the next week. Bischoff says, "You know what? You know what? Sting wants to play like that. Fine. Next week, Sting's gonna take on Big Cash Nash, Kurt Hennig, and Hulk Hogan." And everyone's like, "Oh!" And Zabisco's like, "I'll do you one better, Bischoff. Sting can take on all three of those guys, but he'll be teamed with Randy Savage and Scott Hall." Big six-man tag announced for next week. Fair enough. So, all right. I think that, I think that's the go-home show for next week, isn't it? Nope. Oh, well, whatever. Perfect. That's the show. Oh, oh wait, pre-show match. Yeah, pre-show match. We each get one. I'm going to go first. You can you can go first. I'll allow it. And I'm going to pick Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Okay. Oh man. So, uh, that go 11 minutes on, with, on the pre show. With Hogan going over. All right. All right. I'm going to do a 25 person battle royal. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Let's go to exclude booked. I don't want I don't want Goldberg in it. Uh, I don't want anybody who's been booked tonight in it. Oh, Jesus. Um, Brian Adams fine, Buff fine, Chavo. Hart wouldn't be there. Fitz not in it. All right, so uh, let me just throw. We need six. Rey Mysterio. Uh, Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious, welcome back, brother. <laughs> Welcome back, brother. Um, Mr. Cat Miller. It's got Norton in it. Yep, he's there, man. Perfect. Um, Tajiri. Uh, Meng. Meng. Perfect. Rick Martel. And, oh, Rick Steiner will be the last one. Perfect. Cool. Who wins? I don't care. Send it. Jesus. All right. There we go. Oh, I should probably pre-show that one. And then our main event tonight, the 25-man battle royal for no reason. All right, Hogan and Luger gets a 79. Oh, that, would been, that probably would have been way better if it wasn't on the pre-show. Probably. Oh, well, whatever. Hulkamania. Beautiful. Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious, welcome back. With, Be my With minus. Buff, Conan, and Dean as the last. <laughs> what a final four. Conan got the most eliminations. Atta boy, Conan. The new Jack Conan. All right. <laughs> A plus between... <laughs> always good banter between Zabisco and Bischoff. So oh, perfect. Fuck. I'm stretching. All right. Perfect. Chris Benoit and his team versus the XWO. Got a C. I'll take it. Good match. Did better than I thought I was going to do. Benoit certainly carried it. 
It's a good thing Sabu can like hold his own too. So between Sabu and Benoit, like Kidman had a sixty-four in that match as well. Yeah. Uh, Lance Storm's promo was fucking shitty, but that's okay. That's okay because we got Hoobie Tood, Guerrero getting unmasked. <laughs> yes, we did. Well, we'll have to change his photo. All right, we got C minus next segment. The Alex Wright promo. Oh, never mind. Oh, man, match, so. The Odd Bedfellows tag team match got a C plus. Steiner and DDD, DDP did work well as a team. Their timing was all over the place. Their timing was all over the place, though? Yep. Though they did not work well as a team. They did not. Okay, I thought you said they did. I thought you said they did work well as a team. Their timing was all over the place. I was like, oh, that's weird. That, so, so, so then they were good? <laughs> Tommy got a 60, so there you go. That boy Tommy getting better. That's what I like to see. That angle did good. I should have just, just had a four-person brawl. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Woo! Got a B plus. Live from Mexico. Dave, Chris Jericho pulled Dave Taylor to a B minus match. boy, Chris Jericho. Oh, Dave Taylor. Oh, Dave. That's okay. <laughs> He's been replaced. <laughs> that he has. That he has. <laughs> My, this is going to be such a shitty rate. You beat me again this week. <laughs> no, your main event will save you. You think so? Yep, 100%. All right, we'll see. <laughs> but remember, remember to pay Big Show lots and lots of money. <laughs> yeah, will do. As a guy a... who had a 32 pinned him. <laughs> Dwayne yeah. Gill defeated the Big Show by pinfall with the spear. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Big Show and Goldberg got a B-plus promo. <clears throat> I got a C minus it better than I thought. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Sneezing a lot. Good little my one minute at promo. Poor, poor, poor man. Man. <laughs> And then an A main event. Beautiful. Sting is there. a gimmick that is getting stale. Oh, we'll make him a surfer again. B minus to close the show. Oh, yeah, what, I, what I say? One fuck one, yeah, one, an A an one, A one, Nitro one match saved you. An A Nitro, the streak is over. Bitch, I knew all along. Well, when you made a bet with Stasiak and you're trying, to I can it. have goal. I can have Dwayne Gill pin Big Show and get an A. <laughs> yeah, see if you can get an A if you main evented that match. So that would have been terrible. Exactly. <laughs> Next week's main event, Big Show taking on Dwayne Gill. There you go. All right. That was episode 58. Leave a like. Body slam that like button. Elbow drop that subscribe button. And then... <laughs> Never mind. And then do the... Put in the comments if you fucking hate our series. And if you don't hate our series... Leave a comment that you like our series. There we go. I want you to really tear it apart. Yeah. Just eviscerate it. And remember, everyone. Fuck Cody Rhodes. Damn it, I missed it. I was.